Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to go over how you can install Express VPN on your Fire Stick. So this is a very easy procedure. Of course, if you're not familiar with Express VPN, it's actually one of the best VPNs that you can use out there. And I'll briefly talk a little bit about it later on, but if you're interested in going straight to the links to pricing, discounts, or a full review to understand a little bit more about Express, you will find everything you need in the description down below. So the first thing you need to know is that ExpressVPN is only available on the Fire Stick second generation and above. So if you're on the Fire Stick, you just need to make sure that it's second generation and above. And for Fire TV, it is available on all versions. And so once you load up your Fire Stick, just look up ExpressVPN on the store and download the application. Once it's downloaded, you'll have to log in using your credentials. And again, if you don't have a subscription, you can use the link below to save some money. And once you're logged in, that is essentially it. So let's say there's a specific show in a specific country that you would like to watch. All you need to do is go to locations on your Fire Stick, select that location and connect to it, then go back to Amazon Prime, and you should have access to the library that pertains to that specific location. And it's the same thing with Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, or any other streaming platform on your Fire Stick. That's basically how it works as far as accessing different regions or different libraries of these streaming platforms. And it is as simple as that when it comes to installing ExpressVPN on your Fire Stick. By the way, if you're looking for a written guide, you will find that on their website. So as you can tell right here, you've got a full guide, but again, it's very simple. And that's exactly how I showed you on screen. Now, as far as ExpressVPN goes, it's actually one of the best VPNs you can use out there. It's super reliable and consistent at everything it does. Not to mention that it's got 105 countries, which will allow you to access pretty much any piece of content on your Fire Stick. Besides that, you'll also be able to secure up to eight devices per subscription, which is more than enough for most users. And when it comes to streaming content, it's indeed one of the most consistent VPNs. Whether you're trying to access a popular streaming library like the American Amazon Prime Library, or a less popular streaming platform in a European country, ExpressVPN will always work fantastic. Other than that, Express will definitely protect your devices thanks to its very strict no logs policy. And so they're not collecting any information about you and they're not selling it to third parties for profit. So yeah, ExpressVPN, I would say is an easily recommendable VPN. And if you do end up getting it, make sure that you know exactly which plan you wanna go for because a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan, thinking they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month, but they do use it for longer and end up resubscribing to the 1295 rate right here, which is too expensive. So if you know you're going to need a VPN for just a month, definitely get the monthly plan. But if you know you're going to need it for longer than a month, then I would recommend a longer term plan that'll save you a little bit more money whether it's the six month plan or the 12 month plan, which will give you an extra discount if you click the link in the description down below. Besides that, there's a 30 day money back guarantee in case you change your mind later. So that's basically it for this video. Comment below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.